So you never guess who's trying on a Chanel suit? Sandy Rowan. Chanel? Who's she kidding with those hips? The point is, she's getting back with Bruce. No way over that whole thing. Well, forget that. If John forgot my 10th anniversary, I would be out of there before you can say Raul Felder. I mean, where's your sense of pride? She said love is stronger than pride. <laughs> Bruce's bank account? Stronger than both. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh, my God! <gasps> oh! oh! Call the police! Someone call the police! Oh my god. Oh my god. Took one to the chest. Emmy says it was up close and personal. Drove up the block like a bat out of H-E double hockey sticks. What precinct are you from? Sesame Street? She still got her watch and her wedding ring. We got a couple of witnesses over there say it looked like a carjack. You got enough for an APB? Ah, partial plate. Uh, blue Escalade SUV, newer model. These are detectives Briscoe and Green. You can tell them what happened. I have to get back to the deli. We're expecting a meat delivery. Meat? A woman's just been shot. Hey, I got the license number and I called 911. What'd you do? Take it easy, pal. This is only going to take a minute. OK, I was outside having a smoke, and I see a black guy pull this lady out of her SUV. She was stopped at the light. What did he look like? Only 20s uh, sideburns. He was tallish, around six feet, medium build. Um, he had a tattoo on his arm. This lady, she was putting up a fight. The guy pulls a gun and just pops her, bang. Because she wouldn't get out of the car? Looked like. The city's a cesspool. Two years ago, a guy comes into my shop, points a gun, give him whatever he wants. Nothing's worth your life. Well, those are words to live by. Or die by. The Emmy said the victim was in her late 20s. A 38 slug severed her aorta. Did you notify the family? She must have left all her ID in the car. It's too soon for missing persons. None of the local store owners recognized her. Could be a tourist. SUV didn't have rental plates. Motor vehicle ran the partial, came up with 240 plates matching the first three digits. When are people going to learn a car just isn't worth it? It was a Cadillac. Hey, that model is the number one stolen vehicle in America today. The Escalade we're looking for is a dark Ming blue. Now, according to the manufacturer, that makes it a 2002. Detective Pachuco up in the Bronx is working a chop shop on Jerome Avenue that specializes in SUVs. You know Ed Pachuco? It's amazing what you can learn when you read the precinct weeklies. Go talk to him. Jerome Avenue. We took that baby down a few weeks back. We're looking for a young black runner who jacked a 2002 Blue Escalade this morning. That wouldn't be my guys. What, you guys don't steal American? You said he's a black runner? Jerome Avenue is strictly Italian. Oh, and all this time, I thought the 14th Amendment outlawed separate but equal car theft rings. Not in the Bronx, it don't. Hey, did any rats pop out of that bust? Now you're talking Bronx. Those boys couldn't wait to roll on each other. Joe Borelli, the perfect informant. Not as dumb as he looks. He's afraid of everyone's shadow, especially mine. He's a minor player, but he knows the field. I'll give him a heads up. All right, thanks. Great. Good luck with that SUV. Probably in a million pieces by now. Yeah, or in a container on its way to Dusseldorf. You sure nobody's seen you come in here? Oh, you mean I shouldn't have given my card to those guys with the broken noses in the corner booth? Cute. But I got a reputation to a fault. Yeah, you might want to flip them sausages over there. Hey, Tina, I'm going to have to call you back, OK? All right, later. Tomorrow's her birthday. Two Manhattan dicks. Guess that SUV belongs to somebody pretty special. Yeah, she was left lying in a pool of her own blood on West 23rd Street. Whoa, my guys are strictly parking lots. Yeah, what about the competition? You know what, Lenny, why don't you go wait out in front of the restaurant, maybe put the cherry on top of the car? Oh, all right, all right, all right. I know this guy likes SUVs, doesn't ask questions. Hey, yo! You seen a blue Escalade? Who's asking? Ralph Nader. Yeah? I didn't vote for you. We're looking for a runner who boosted a blue Escalade today. I'd like to help you, pal, but as you can see, I run a legitimate business here. Well, since you're strictly legit, do you want mind us taking a little look around? I'm in the market for a new fender. You guys got a warrant? Ed, you hear that? Yeah, I think I do. Hear what? The sound of a woman calling for help. Ah, oh, this sucks. Female in distress. That's exigent circumstances. Ah, uh, this looks like a legitimate business to me. Oh, that matches the partial we got. Well, pal, this is your chance to tell us something that'll keep you out of jail. Look. You caught me in an embarrassing moment here. So uh, I'm going to be straight with you. Oh, that's big of you. 
My guy was gonna start working on the car when he found this. Nobody around here will touch it. Biohazardous waste. You got a pair, my friend. Yeah, it's Detective Green. I need auto to confiscate a car, and I need a hazmat crew. Look, I ID the guy you're looking for, you'll walk away. That's open to discussion. Name's Lamont Tyler, lives over in the projects on Jefferson and 23rd. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Well, the deal hasn't started yet. If your info pans out, you walk. Hey, Lou. Tyler signed a confession, nice and neat. Yep, he'll be making license plates now instead of stealing them. I wish all our cases went down that easy. They don't. Hazmat crew sent the vial over to an independent lab. The report just came in. Coronavirus. Coronavirus, as in SARS? That's the one. Now the question is, what the hell was it doing in the Vic's car? 